Hey guys, Jeff here with Passive Income Unlocked, and today I'm going to go over how I use relatedwords.org to help generate ideas for our niche sites. So this is going to be a pretty short video, but before I jump in, I just want to remind you really quickly that once we hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel, I'm going to reveal to you one of our niche sites. So if you're wondering why we're doing this or why 1,000 subscribers, just refer back to last week's video on answerthepublic.com. I go into more detail right in the beginning of the video. So with that being said, let's jump over to my computer and get started. All right, guys, so we're over my computer now. And basically what I want to walk you through is how I use the uh, site relatedwords.org uh, just to kind of generate some ideas when I'm starting a new site. So I'm going to show you a couple different approaches to using this tool. So the first one would be, um, let's just say you're starting a site in the boating niche, but you don't want to use boating as a whole because it's too large. You want to kind of drill down and find a sub niche within boating. So what you would do is just go to relatedwords.org, type in boating as kind of your seed seed keyword, or you can type in a phrase if you want as well. So just type in boating, you hit enter, and then you'll be presented with a ton of related words to boating. So you got ship, canoe, sailboat, ferry, yacht, barge, and so on. And if you scroll down past the ad, this is not the end of the page. If you keep scrolling, you'll see a bunch of other keywords as well. It just keeps going and going and going. All right. Um, so anyway, so this is a good way to just find um, some ideas for a sub niche. So, you know, maybe you enjoy boating and you don't really know what to write about. Um, so you just type that in and you see things about yachts or kayaks, you know, or sailboats or whatever. It just gives you some subtopics to look into. And then those can be particular uh, niches for you to look in to see if they make sense for you. And then a very similar approach would be, let's say you want to build a very broad site, which is what my team and I do. You might go into boating as a whole. So if you go into boating as a whole, you take the same approach, you type that in here, you hit the uh, search button there, and then you're presented with the same list. But in this case, what I do is I'm going to add these keywords to a spreadsheet. So I would open up Excel, or in my case, just open up Google Sheets. Now we just start typing these in. So you have ship, canoe, sailboat, uh, ferry and so on, you just keep going through this list and add anything that makes sense for your niche to your subtopic list. The goal of this exercise is basically to unearth some subtopics that you might not have thought about or maybe things that you didn't even know about. Because um, if you were to just jump right into keyword research without doing an exercise like this, you're gonna miss half of these or probably more than half of these, even if you know about them, because you're just not gonna think about them off the top of your head. So it's always better to do a search like this and then try to find all the related terms, right? put them uh, put them down in a spreadsheet, and that way you can attack it in a systematic fashion. So what I would do with this at the end of the day, I would hope to have a list of like 50 subtopics within my boating niche. So I have, you know, I have a niche of boating, and I want to target each of these separately, probably one by one um, within my site. So I'd have ship, canoe, sailboat, ferry, and so on. And what I would do is I would look for keywords within each of these subtopics. And the, the goal would be at the end of the day, if I have 50, 50 subtopics on here, I'm going to find anywhere from five to 100 um, keywords within each one to target. So at the end of the day, you have hundreds to maybe thousands of keywords to target. That's, that's basically what you're trying to accomplish. So, um, and another way to use relatedwords.org, <clears throat> aside from just finding ideas for a niche, is to use it when you're trying to come up with a domain name. So let's say you've already come up with your niche. And now you're trying to create a domain name. This It's definitely perfect for that. And I've used it many times for this purpose. So um, we'll, we'll stick to something similar. So we'll just say that your site is going to be about, um, about boating. And you want something related, something similar to Lake Adventures. Okay. So what you would do is you would type in, let's say you want to type in adventures. And come up with similar words to adventures to um, pair with the word lake. So you type that in. You can see Lake Venture, uh, Escapade, Journey, Odyssey, Voyage, and, and so on. So same thing again, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see some other ideas down here as well. So simple way, you could type in the word lake as well, or the word lake as well. Um, just another simple way to generate ideas. And I take a similar approach to what I just showed you. So whenever I'm trying to come up with a new domain name, I would do a process like this. I would add all these words to a spreadsheet over here. Um, so I'd add adjectives over here. I would add words related to my niche. So if my niche is boating, I'd add a bunch of boating words. And then I'd try to think of some adjectives that go go uh, good with that. 
and just try to come up with a bunch of combinations that make sense. Um, ideally, you want to keep your domain names really short. And I'll go into domain names in a, a different video. That's a pretty big topic. But um, as far as keeping them short, it's there's so many of them that are taken these days. It's really difficult to come up with a short domain name. So you're going to be looking at two to three words in all likelihood. So you want to look for combinations. That's basically what you're trying to do. Find a good combination of two or three words that make sense for your niche. And you still want to keep it short if you can. Um, so that's just another approach to doing that. Um, and as far as I'll just make one more point as far as domain names go, there are tools out there where you can just type in a, a keyword and it'll give you a bunch of combinations automatically. I've never used them. Um, I, I'm sure they work to an extent, but for me, I like to do things a little bit more manual because, uh, and you know, you have to be more creative when you do it that way, but you come up with things that the tools just don't come up with because it doesn't come up, it doesn't work with their algorithm or whatever. So it's probably worth a shot to try those tools. But for me, there's a lot of things I do the manual way to try to think outside of the box, come up with things that some of the tools don't do. Um, you'll see that in some of the videos as I, on various topics, just not, not just domain names, but keyword research and lots of other things, checking competition. I do a lot of things manually um, to kind of go around what everyone else does. Because if you, if you do things differently than everyone else, you get different results. And a lot of times those results are better than what everybody else is doing. So one last thing I'll show you, there's a sister site to relatedwords.org. It's called describingwords.io. So if you go over to describingwords.io, um, this is going to basically give you adjectives for a noun. So to stick, stick to the whole boating thing, we can type in like the noun lake. Then you'll get a bunch of uh, adjectives down here. So second largest freshwater lake, for example. But what you can do in this example is you can use this to come up with subtopics as well. Or you might use it to try to pair something in your domain name that we just talked about. So you have the, the keyword freshwater. So there's a good subtopic that you could put on your boating list over here, freshwater. Um, and salt water as well. So I don't know if that's on here or not, but um, subterranean. Um, let's see. So it's fresh water again. But yeah, you get the idea. So it's just another tool. And again, if you scroll down, you see a, a lot more um, keywords down here as well. So it's just something else to try. Just a different way, different way to approach this to where you can come up with some um, other ideas to add to your list, whether you're looking for a domain name or subtopics in a niche or the niche itself. All right, guys, so I wanted to keep this one short. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And as a reminder, once we get to that 1,000 subscriber mark, I'm going to reveal one of our niche sites to you. So the sooner we get there, the sooner you can find out what that site is. Um, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of future videos. And definitely head over to PassiveIncomeUnlocked.com if you want more tips for growing your site. Thanks, as always, for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.